Hello and welcome to today's videos on the difference between MBR and GPT. So if you ever work with a hard disk formatting and partitioning, you will shortly come across the terms MBR and GPT. This is especially evident with when you are dual booting your Mac and face with the problem of having to switch from MBR to GPT or GPT to MBR. So you probably are wondering what are the differences between MBR and GPT and there is any benefits using one over the other one. You probably know that you can split your hard disk into several partition. The question is how does the OS know the partition structure of your hard disk? The information has to come from somewhere. That is where MBR and master boot record and GPT GUID partition tables comes into the play. While both are architecturally different, both play the same role in governing and providing information for the partitions in the hard disk. Master boot record and GPT are two different ways of storing the partitioning information on a drive. The information include where the partition starts and begins and so your operating system knows which sectors belongs to each partition and which partition is bootable. So this is why you have to choose MBR or GPT before creating the partition on your drive. So let's open testcomgmt.msc because already I mounted the uh, one additional hard drive on the system. So once we start the disk management, here is the uh, the things which we are discussing. It is asking to specify the partition style, like if you want to use MBR or GPT. So a partition table formats or a partition styles refer to the method that an operating system such as a Windows Server 2016 used to organize partition or volume on a disk. So for Windows operating system, you can decide between the master boot record and globally unique identifier GUID partition table. So for this uh, disk, I want to use GPT partition table and then click on OK. So now as you are seeing, the currently the both disk is in a basic mode. So what's the main advantage of MBR? The master boot record partition table format is the standard partition scheme that has been used on hard disk since the inception of personal computers in the 1980s. It's called master boot record because the MBR is a special boot sector located at the beginning of a hard drive. This sector contains a bootloader for the installed operating system and information about the drive's logical partitions. The bootloader is a small bit of code that generally loads the larger bootloaders from another partition on drive. On other end, if we discuss about the GPT, GPT stands for GUID partition table. It's a new standard that gradually replacing the MBR. It's called GUID partition table because every partition on your drive has a globally unique identifier or we can say GUID, a random string, so long that every GPT partition on earth likely has its own unique identifier number. The GPT was introduced with the Windows Server 2003 and Windows XP 64-bit edition to overcome the limitation of MBR and to address the larger disk spaces. So let's see what are the key differences between uh, MBR and GPT. So which I have a one screenshot. And this is the main difference between master boot record and GPT. If you are seeing master boot record has a partitioning limitation and that is it can only support four primary partition or we can use three primary partition as well as one extended partition. On other end, GPT use volume instead of partition and it can support up to 128 volumes. If you see on a MBR, MBR can support volumes up to 2 TB. On other end, if you discuss about the GPT, GPT can support volumes up to 18 exabytes. See, it's a theoretical. No one is going to use that uh, size of volumes on a server. And uh, if we discuss about the MBR, the hidden unpartitioned sectors to data critical to platform operations. And partitions, generally in GPT, partitions store the data that is critical to platform operations. And uh, if you see about the replication and cyclic redundancy check, CRC, that are not available in MBR partition table, but uh, on GPT partition in style, you can use the CRC protection of partition table provide the increased reliability on your partitionings. Now, one thing that uh, I forget to mention is in a GPT partitioning style, hard disk can have up to eight zettabyte with the 512 kilobyte logical block addressing. And the last thing which uh, we are going to see is uh, 
the di key difference currently i have a certain options like a new volume but if on a basic disk with mbr we have only one options you can go with the new simple volume but right now this is the basic disk and in basic disk we can't create a span volume so if you want to create a span or software read you have to use dynamic disk and then you are able to create the uh, span or meter or so on volumes so in the next videos we will discuss about what is the key difference between a basic disk and the, between dynamic disk and that's it for this demonstrations thanks for watching this video